Hi, I'm Vivian Campbell. I'm a qualified herbalist, I'm a foraging teacher and I'm a professional cosmetic maker and I'm here to show you today the sources of one of uh, the really beautiful ingredients that we use in natural cosmetic making. I just want to apologise for the sound of traffic because I'm right next to the road because in the wild, wild roses you quite often find growing by the roadside because they need lots of light so you don't find them deep in woodland, you find them next to where there's open space. So behind me here we have a road <laughs> and light <laughs> but we also have rose hips and they are the source of this oil, rose hip seed oil which is really common in natural skincare because it's so rejuvenative for the skin and it's used in herbal medicine and formulae to help to heal the skin, particularly to fade scars and things. Um, it's a beautiful oil, it's become very popular over the last sort of 15 years and you can buy lots of products in the shops made with it. However, I'm here to talk about it today because the internet is covered in blogs showing people how to make their own rosehip oil and it's the wrong thing and I want to clear up right now what this is, the thing that you buy in the shops and what these are and how you don't make it, okay? <laughs> so those are rose hips and this beautiful oil is actually pressed out from the seed. Rose hips are fruits, okay? So they're very, very ripe. You see them in the autumn. Um, and uh, this is the fruit. You can see the flesh squidging out there, but if you open it up, these tiny little things here, the little white things, are the seeds. Let me see if I can focus that for you. That's better. They're the seeds. And as anyone who grew up in the country knew, they're, knows they're covered in tiny little hairs that are really, really itchy. And children throw them down each other's backs as natural itching powder. So that beautiful red oil that's really common in cosmetics is inside those tiny little seeds. And it's not something that you make at home. They need to be cold pressed or mechanically pressed out using specialist equipment which uh, presses out the oil and also separates out the hairy little seeds because you don't want itching powder through your lovely natural cosmetic. Now, what you will see on the internet right now, because it's autumn, is an abundance of blogs showing you this. They'll say, this, these are rose hips. I've made my own rose hip oil. I've saved a fortune because it's so expensive to buy. And what they do is they get rose hips and they pop them in a jam jar and they pour on a base oil like almond oil or sunflower oil and they leave it to infuse for a few weeks and strain it out. Now this is not what you're buying in the shops. This is what's known as a herbal infused oil, okay? And it's not the same as the oil that is inside those tiny little seeds. The oil inside those tiny little seeds has different properties to herbal infused oil. This is the thing that's really regenerative. This is the ingredient that's used in these skincare treatments and products. It takes kilos and kilos and kilos of the seeds harvested. You saw how small those seeds were and pressed out mechanically to produce small amounts of this oil. And this oil also goes rancid very quickly, usually within six months after it's pressed out of those tiny little seeds. And that's where the cost of your oil comes from. It's directly related to the amount of plant material that you need and how much labour it is to harvest it and produce the oil. This is a homemade herbal infused oil of the flesh of the fruit and it is not the same thing. I'm not saying it won't do your skin any good but it is not the same thing. It doesn't have the same chemicals in it. It doesn't have the same medicinal and therapeutic properties and I want to be really clear what the difference between the two is, especially because now it's great that people are interested in using local plants and making their own things and reducing the exposure to unnecessary chemicals that they don't want. But <laughs> some of us have been doing this for a long time. I've been teaching classes for 15 years. I've literally taught thousands of people and we know the difference between what the ingredients are. And if you're making this and thinking that it's this and putting it into your product, 
products, then it's wrong and the labels on your ingredients, or your ingredients label is wrong and the label on your product is wrong and that's illegal. <laughs> So it's really important to know the difference. Okay, so this is rosehip seed oil that's come from those tiny little seeds, seeds inside the rosehips, which are the fruit. I hope that this clears it up for you. I'll be making more of these videos. The expect one next summer saying, no, you haven't made your own rose water because that's really coming too. Okay, bye.